My name's Nathaniel, and I'm going to do a before and after video for right focal cord paralysis. If you haven't yet watched Sending Johnson's video, I highly recommend you check that out. I watched that, and it was an encouragement, and you could even say inspiration for me. And uh, so take time to watch that. I'm having surgery tomorrow, and I've sounded like this for approximately seven and a half months. Uh, the first few months after I started sounding like this from a prior surgery, uh, I met up with a new doctor, and he did two vocal cord injections. So I went from having very little voice to having what I've got now. That has helped me be able to do my job. I'm a preacher, so it's been a long few months, and when I'm mic'd up, you can hear me pretty well. But it has been a discouraging <laughs> few months. I'm really looking forward to tomorrow and hoping that things go really well. And if you haven't watched Cindy's video, she talks about how you kind of seem like you're depressed and even starting to fade away. That really kind of summed it up well. When you're out in crowds or restaurants, you're really taken out of the conversation. Uh, the theme parks that I went to for vacation with my family this summer was probably the most frustrating. I really didn't feel like I was part of family vacation. So uh, there's really no one to blame. It just is a risk from the surgery I had. And this is what happened. So, another surgery tomorrow with Dr. John Engel. Not the same surgeon who did the previous surgery, but he's going to do a laryngoplasty with possible adenoid induction. And uh, basically, how I understand it, he's going to cut a piece of cortex to put inside an implant that'll cause my right focal cord to push up against my left. And that'll allow me to, to speak louder, hopefully have full volume again. Uh, as you can tell, when I talk, I run out of breath. And so I'm looking forward to not having that so much uh, and hopefully having some more energy. So this is the before video and then shortly after surgery, I'll record the after. Thanks. Well, I'm back. And as you can tell, so is my voice. It's been five weeks since the surgery. And Dr. Engel said it'll be about six to eight weeks before your voice really settles in. And as you can hear, after five weeks, it's settling in pretty good. And I'm very pleased with how things are going. It's pretty miraculous. Uh, let me tell you what happened during and after surgery. So if you're going through a similar situation, you know what to expect. Uh, during the surgery, Dr. Engel talked to me throughout and, and uh, it was probably about six hour surgery. And I was awake for some of it because he talked to me just to see how things were going. And he listened to see how my voice sounded while he did his work. After surgery, I had a voice, and it's it was just incredible. About day three or four, my voice got squeaky uh, because of the swelling in my throat. So if this happens to you, uh, don't be alarmed. I know I was concerned. Uh, oh, no, my voice is squeaky, and, and I'm going to sound like Scrappy-Doo. But that wasn't the case. Around day five or six, the swelling started to go down. And ever since, there's just been continued improvement. I have been doing speech therapy and it's definitely a huge help. So I just wanna say thank you so much to uh, Dr. Engel, to Cheryl and Liz from Speech Therapy. I tell you, the team at the University of Rochester Medical Center uh, for the uh, 
ENT. They're just incredible. And let me show you my scar. You really can't see it. And I'll kind of lean in so you can take a peek. But as you can tell, it's healed up really well. And I'm just really so grateful. So whoever's watching this, uh, who's prayed over the last seven and a half months, really, I've been going through this thing for about a year since I found that, that tumor on my thyroid and felt it. Thank you. Really praise the Lord for how everything's worked out, for the gifts that he's given uh, Dr. Engel and the team and speech therapy. And it's just been quite a ride. But man, you can tell things are better now. So I hope, I hope this video has been helpful to you. And if you're watching on YouTube, and thanks for taking time to listen to me.